The boreal, the boreal forest here is incredibly rugged and lumpy. It's just um, very, very hard to walk through. It, it's not just the blowdown. It's the longer term pattern of uh, what's called pit and mound topography or pit and mound dynamics. So there's a deep hole formed by, let's back up here, formed by this big root tip up of of this tree. There's there's soil in there and and stones and that's mineral and that's not going anywhere. It'll it'll settle down as the wood rots, but it, it's gonna form a mound. And then the hole uh, that this root mat was was in is now a pit. So I'll just back up here. So what, what's going to happen is, well it's already happening, this is the young stage, you're going to have a pit and a mound. And then you're going to have pits and mounds, pits and mounds, pits and mounds, continually through the life cycle of this forest. It takes a long time for these resin uh, impregnated roots and things to, to settle down, but you'll still have, just, just the energy of this root map ripping up will form permanent pits and mounds, and you'll see that throughout the forest as you as you walk through and that makes my boreal forest here um, one of the most difficult thickest forest to work to walk through I think in the world I mean look look at this look at this blowdown look at this blowdown let's look at this root tip up over here look at that Look at the big boulder, it, it peeled up. Look at that. That's embedded in that, that root mat there. And there's, there's the, the pit down below. So the trees are rearranging these small boulders and soil mounds. And uh, that's gonna, that makes a very lumpy terrain forever. Look at this one. And the blowdown just goes on and on and on. You can see the gap in the canopy there. That's not a wet spot. That's that did have trees in it, but they've they've blown down and created that gap. Here's a here's a blowdown gap here. Blowdown gap here. There's a big old jack pine that uh, is probably rotten at the base and will be coming down in a big windstorm or a big snowstorm that loads it up. There's my tent. I'm not very comfortable uh, camping in this site and this may be the last time I, I camp here because the forest is just too too old and it's uh, very dangerous in high winds to, to be under this. We're going to leave the familiarity of the campsite and head on back into the bush here. This shrub here is Labrador tea. These trees are uh, jack pine and black spruce, and that's about all we got here. Oh, look what I found. I said there was no balsam fir, but we got one right here, but it's the only one I've seen. Hmm. It's very, very difficult finding your way around all this, this blow down here. Be very careful.
This is birch, white birch, it snapped off. A moose has done this. And uh, you can see the, I hope the GoPro is picking this up here. You can see the, the ends of the twigs that it, it browsed. That's what moose do, they grab it and they, they pull it down so they can uh, reach the, the tips. If only the forest was as open as this, but it's not. The only real nice openings we have is where there's a big slab of rock, shallow soil, nothing, hardly anything can grow on it. Even in the summer, I and everybody I know wears long, long trousers because your legs would just be shredded in this uh, undergrowth. Many of these uh, sticks and things are really sharp. I'm also north of the tick line. This is spring, and further south the ticks are going nuts. Um, wood ticks and deer ticks. There are wood ticks here where I am, but they don't seem to be in high numbers. I've never had one on. I think I've only had one on. And uh, there's moose ticks here, but they stick with the moose. And uh, so... There, where I live, right at the southern edge of the boreal forest, the, the ticks are um, going apocalyptic now these days. The old timers say they never saw them so bad. In fact, in the old days, they don't remember them around at all. So they seem to be moving north. Uh, but up here north of the tick line, um, that's, I just call it north of the tick line. It, there's no such thing in the literature, but that's what I and some friends call it. It's nice that uh, I don't have to worry about ticks this time of year.